Former U.S. Senate invited to White House for a briefing on North Korea threat. The North Korea situation is bad enough to get the entire U.S. Senate in the same room. Voyeur's Nick Cardona has that story. Washington, as governments around the world brace for a possible nuclear test in North Korea, the entire United States Senate is invited to the White House for a briefing on threats from Kim Jong-un's government. Senate Majority Leaders Mitch McConnell, Republican from Kentucky, organized the briefing, which will be conducted on Wednesday by Secretary of State Rex Tillerson and Defense Secretary James Mattis, Director of National Intelligence Dan Coast, Coates and a General Joseph Dunford, Chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff. This is a Senate briefing convened by the majority leaders, not a White House briefing. White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer said, quote, we are just serving as the location. Lawmakers organized the meeting as South Korea announced it is on high alert instead of a, a Tuesday holiday in North Korea, the 85th anniversary of the founding of its Korean People's Army. The North Koreans have staged demonstrations, including nuclear tests, on these special days. Let's take a quick look at the uh, clip here. The Korea situation is bad enough to get the entire U.S. Senate in the same room. Every senator was just invited to the White House Wednesday for a briefing. Reuters is reporting that Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, Secretary of Defense James Mattis, and other top officials in the Trump White House will run the briefing. Now, having the entire Senate over at the White House is pretty rare. The briefing was announced hours after U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, Nikki Haley, detailed American red lines in North Korea. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and uh, thank you so much for watching.